Hello there. So I can barely see jack shit. I was supposed to go to an art show tonight, but I couldn't. Because obviously I'm really exhausted. And that was me with I'm like, oh, maybe I won't be exhausted, you know. No, I do a work sighted last night. I had a big 14 things in this morning. My energy was like sucked away. And yeah. Anyway. I promise to vlog the day after the last time I vlogged, and I'm just gonna do this once a week. Once a week. And I just want to say, I really like Scott Pilgrim because I rent, I got those from the library, and I also rented Whip It, and it's really good. You should watch it. Anyway, I just wanted to say, sorry, I keep fixing my hair. How are you all? One person who's probably watching this. <laughs> um. Thanks for watching, if you're watching at all, if you even care. I mean, honestly, thank you. Um, I look like a mushroom. So I want to talk to you guys about poetry for like a few seconds, then I'm going to move on to something most likely. Um, do you have a favorite poet, like at all, and you just love them? You want nothing bad to happen to them, but then they die because they take a sleeping pill and fall down the stairs? Happened to me. I was researching about Edna St. Vincent Millay, and actually her poetry is so beautiful. Go search Edna St. Vincent Millay, Visit to the Asylum. That is my favorite poem by her. Oh my god, I just love her so much. Like, you don't understand. It's like, I just picked her because I was reading her poetry when I was picking out a poet for the poetry project. I'm doing for AP Lit. Take AP Lit. It'll be fun. Especially if you go to my school. But, um, honestly, she's so and the same Ben Simile is so magnificent. Everything about her is just beautiful. And like, get this, she had to help raise her sisters because her drunken father left. Her mom had to support them. And then the same Ben Simile, even though her relationship was kind of rocky with her mom, I'm guessing through biographies I've read, that um, she still met, she still loved her mom, and she took her with her, and then she she went into a marriage, but it was an open marriage. But still, they're completely honest each other, and they were pretty much together till death did them part. He died from something and I know um, she got in a car accident. Pretty much ruined her back. I know she just flew out of a car. Um, yeah, it was pretty sad. And then she started doing drugs and all that. Not like, I don't know. I know Aldous Huxley who wrote Brave New World, which is a good book and you should probably read. Um, just she ended up taking alcohol and smoking cigarettes which I have friends that do it I mean it's bad it's cancerous but I mean I don't judge you so if you want to be friends and you smoke it's okay um, I don't know it's just really sad because she ended up taking she got addicted to morphine and she became an alcoholic I mean a lot like her father I mean it runs in the family her one sister died about being an alcoholic I mean, she was just trying to numb the pain, too, so it's kind of like, she wasn't, I'm not trying to defend her for drinking, for becoming alcoholic, but I mean, she didn't drink like her father did, so I'm guessing she drank. Oh, sorry about my hair being so terrible. Okay, she drank because her, she didn't drink like the way her father did. Her father was like, probably like, oh, I'm a drunk asshole, I don't want nothing to do. In fact, she loved fellow human beings, probably. And um, she drank probably to numb the pain, not to get a howl out of life. She wanted to numb the pain from the accident. She took morphine and she was like, oh, I don't know. I really wish I could meet her. I want to go in a time machine and back when she lived in Greenwich Village or something, when she was first beginning, and I just want to talk to her. But she ran a contest and she actually went to Pissar College, which one of my friends is going to. Hi, Kim. I love you. Um, also, two people who are at the art show, I'm really sorry I couldn't make it. Emma and Ariana, I'm so sorry I wanted to make it, but I'm exhausted. Like I said in the beginning of it, I'm so exhausted. But this weekend, I'm probably going to go over there and look at your artwork. And in comes the siblings. Do you want to meet one of them? 
Come on. Say hi. Oh. Come here. This? This is my brother. Okay. Now, if you're 13 I'm or 14. If you're 13 or 14, he's single. He's a gentleman, except when he beats his sister up. That's not true. You're right. Anyway. And I'm not Harry from, um... Apparently he looks like Harry from One Direction. We hate One Direction in this house. I do not. He hates One Direction. Anyway. And the same Vincent Millay. Um... I just feel there's a lot in her brain because... I just want to go back in a time machine back she lived in Greenwich Village and just have a talk with her writing, show like compare writing, have her look at my writing and read it and critique it. I mean, I can't do that obviously. I mean, I could do that with J.K. Rowling, but I probably need to pay like a shitload of money. I don't know. Because honestly, J.K. Rowling saved my life. And Edgar Allan Poe. And the guy who wrote Scott Pilgrim, I forget right now. I could probably get a book right now and tell you all the funny stuff. I just love Scott Pilgrim. Now, on to superheroes. It's been six minutes. Oh, dear lord, help you guys who are watching me. You should all read Scott Pilgrim. It is so good. It is as good as everything you've ever seen. Yes. And, um, yes, by evil exes. You know, Ramona's. And Ramona's so cool. Oh my god. And then Scott's like, amazing. I mean, I don't picture him as Michael Sarah, but you know, he's probably Michael Sarah probably was a good choice. I don't know, but my favorite character—it's not Ramona, it's Knives Chow. That's how you pronounce it. I just love her. She's so crazy, and I just she's so crazy and punk rock. Amen. So. Pilgrim and my long talk, six minute talk about Edna St. Vincent Millay. What else do we have to talk about? Because remember, I usually do like this for 10, 25 minutes. Just kidding. Um. I have a guitar. And if you read John Green's novels, which I do. I only read one of them. It was for a book club, but it was so beautiful. I am currently working on a song. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this, you're going to stop playing. Oh, hey, there's Taylor. What Taylor, you say hi. I'm not going. I'm exhausted recording. I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Okay. She's a Chicago fan. We recently discovered Chicago. that's not the whole song and it's work in progress I'm trying to edit it a lot before I'm gonna be doing an open mic night and I'm definitely gonna be playing that also I could play a Katy Perry song for you But 
So, I just wanted to say, you're all beautiful in your way, because I should probably get going on this ending. I don't really talk about anything really cool. Um, so some things about me, I'm currently going to be 18 soon, Prince Harry. Sorry, I'm just putting this away. Her name is Jeannie. Um, Prince Harry, I am almost 18. Brendan Yuri, you know, Patrick, no, Joe Truman. Joe Truman's my favorite member of Fall Out Boy. I mean, I love, I love Andy, I love Pete, and I love Pat, but I mean, come on, Joe is, Joe Truman's where it's at. <sighs> Mikey Way, I'm, I'm almost 18 too, Mikey. Like your girlfriend. Bad, was that bad, was that a bad Mikey Way joke anyway? So you're probably gonna see some pictures I made. I was really bored over the weekend. I was overtired. Pretty much how I'm gonna be now. Um, yeah, I made a thing called dolls, kind of like Skin DK, which I'll be talking about next week. I'm actually gonna try to have a different type of format. Um, this is just like me talking. I know it's like more like a, me fixing my hair. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna start editing. No, I can't, like on Windows 8, how the hell do you do that? Does anyone want to tell me? No, I could do it with the YouTube thing, but let's be honest. That probably sucks. I'm probably silent a lot, and I'm really sorry, and it's almost like 12 minutes, just about... Um, I think I should probably end this before it goes to 15. I honestly didn't talk about anything worthwhile and I am so sorry. It's 12 minutes and 4 seconds. <sighs> when I finish Alaska, well, you know, it's inspired by looking for Alaska. It's pretty much in the, it's in the perspective of Miles, you know, Pudge. Cause like, how is he feeling after Alaska? Never mind. If you haven't read it, I'm spoiling it and I will not. You could, yeah, but it's a really good song when I upload it. You could just like, if you want, you could send, you could like be like, oh, John Green, look, someone wrote a song about Alaska. John Green's up my heroes. Anyway, it's going on 13 minutes. I didn't talk about anything worthwhile, and I am so sorry. I really... I should probably do this more and shorter, but I don't really care. So... Adios, mis amigos.